woke up this morning with money on my mind. Mm-hmm. I'm rush out, big man, I'm focused on your fine. Mm-hmm. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. Mm-hmm. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. What's good, YouTube? What's happening, squad? It's your boy Travis, checking in. Real TK squad, checking in. And, um, got a little video I want to talk about, a little idea I want to talk about. I was, um, on Facebook and I seen this post. And I got involved in the post because I didn't quite, I understood where she was coming from, where the, the person who posted was coming from. But, I think a lot of people don't even understand where they're coming from. They've been told certain things in life and they follow by these guidelines and don't understand it. So basically what she was saying was, and it was it was like to shit on people that got, you know, a nice car, but don't own a home. So basically what she said was, if you have a car note that's $400 or more and you don't own a house, you're stupid as fuck. Now I want to talk about this because this is a thing that goes on in YouTube as well. Well, you know, a lot of y'all subscribers see a lot of the YouTubers drive around in these nice cars and these nice houses, and you know, we're gonna get into this. So, one more time, she stated, if you have a car note that's four hundred dollars, at least four hundred dollars, and you don't own a house, you're stupid as fuck. Now, a lot of people agreed with her and a lot of people disagreed with her. And basically their disagreement had nothing to do with what I what I was thinking. So their disagreement was, you know, if you can afford what you what you driving and, and whatever, that's your choice. And it is. But let's get into this, y'all, because a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people, you know, they big people up when they were like, I just bought my first house, and a lot of people, you know big you up and yay congratulations for you let, 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 me, let me explain something y'all you are not a homeowner if you still pay rent and when I say rent like most people look at rent is an apartment or you you know or you rent a house well let's be honest when you're buying a house you're still paying rent the word is just called mortgage. Mortgage doesn't mean you own the house. Mortgage means rent. You're still paying rent. What happens is now is you're not paying to a landlord. You're paying to the bank. The bank owns the house. You don't. That's why I hate the word when people are like, I'm a homeowner. No, you're not. You're still paying rent. And nine times out of ten, if you buy a house, and it's a nice house that has a that costs you know hundred two hundred three hundred thousand dollar house you have a 30 year loan from the bank so a lot of people look at it like i just bought a house don't let people fool you and tell you I, i'm a I, like a lot of people try to brag and try to shit on other people i own my own house no you don't because if you miss a couple payments, they're going to put your ass out of that house. So how do you own anything if you can be put out? So to say that you're stupid for having a nice car and living in an apartment, it's not necessarily stupid because a lot of people are not ready to make that leap in life to a 30-year loan. You got to understand something. Owning a home there's a 30 year loan behind it. A lot of people don't even know what they're gonna be doing in the next five years. So how do you know what you're gonna be doing in the next 30? You see what I'm saying? So if you're not ready to make that commitment, why even buy a house? If you're a person that moves, that likes to move, or you get, or what I say, you get tired of things quickly. Cause you got some people that can move into this house they can say, this is my dream home. And they get tired of the house in two years. Now they're ready to move. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're a person that likes to move, why buy a house? You might well rent one. Most people buy houses to try to flex for others. 
They want to say, I, I own this. This is mine. And most people don't own anything. Like, it's a good thing, you know, to see somebody that owns a home is usually somebody that has a lot of money. Therefore, they can pay it off quickly or with cash. Or it's somebody who's older and they've paid for 30 years. Or it's somebody whose parents left them a house. Or somebody in their family left them a house that was paid for. Most people are still paying rent on their home. So it's not stupid to rent. And it's not stupid if you're paying a mortgage on a home. I mean, it's not stupid to rent. Because you don't even know what you're doing in the next 30 years. That's like, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying don't don't buy. I'm not saying don't buy a house. I'm just explaining the difference. Because a lot of people don't understand or know the difference. They think when somebody go put the paperwork down, they own the home. You can't already put me out. Yes, you can. You don't own anything if you can be put out. It's like a car. If you go buy a new car off the dealership, that's normally a six year. Now seven sometimes, but a six-year loan from the bank on a car. A lot of people lease cars because every two years you can change out. Every two years you can change the cars. You can get the new model, and you don't own nothing else on the car. When you're buying the car, you're stuck with that car for the next six, seven years. Hell, sometimes that car breaks down before you're done paying for it. You know what I'm saying? Which means you don't know what the status is going to be for you or the car in the next seven years. So a lot of people have to weigh their options and say, can I afford this for the next seven years? Just like a house. If your house is $1,200 a month, can I uphold those payments for the next 30 years? Can you do that? Who can promise that? Not too many people who don't already have the money laid out right now. So I just you know I said I just wanted to talk about that situation because like people gotta stop being fooled by what they see on the internet. A lot of people, all these people on the internet showing these houses and on on the, yeah, I bought my first house. I just bought my first house. And you looking at them people, you like, well, they're not doing no more than what I'm doing. So how the hell do they buy a house? Well, they didn't. They credit got them into a house. The credit got them into a house, the down payment, they got a down payment, and now they're paying rent on this house for the next 30 years with the hopes of them owning the house one day. Whether it's 15 years, 30 years, however much you're paying, though, on your loan is however many years. Like I said, most times it's going to be 30 years on their loan, all depending on how, all depending on, especially if it's like a newer house, but all depending on you know how much that house costs. But once again, what would you be doing in 30 years? How many of us can say that? Can't none of us tell what we're going to be doing. We only know what we're going to be doing in 10 years. So I, it just it just, it just, just dawned on me. And when I, it was funny because when I broke it down and explained it to her, like she was responding back to a lot of people, but when I broke it down and explained it to her, I'm like, do you own your own home? She said, yes. I said, so you don't pay nothing. <coughs> she said, of course, I pay a mortgage, but it's my house. I'm like, well, you don't own shit. And once I broke it out, and it, it sometimes made me think that people be just lying on Facebook and on YouTube and Instagram about owning anything because they don't even be knowing the breakdowns. It's like, you would have known this. You know what I'm saying? If you really got a house, she told me, yeah, but it, I, I, I own it. You don't own anything. Miss three papers and see what the fuck you own. When you own a home, all you pay is taxes. But there is no, it's not stupid. There is no good or bad in that situation. There is no right or wrong. It's a choice that you make. You make it, like a lot of people decide that I want to buy a house. I don't want to buy a house. I'm not ready for a house. I think the time to make to buy a house is when you're ready to make that investment for your family. Because you got to think about it. Let's say right now, if we decide to buy a house, we all know I'm 40. 
three to be exact. You know what I'm saying? If I do a 30 year loan, when I'm done paying on this house, I'm 73. It's like, how much longer will I get a chance to enjoy something that I have paid for? No bills. You know what I'm saying? I take pride in being able to get something and it's paid for. Like it make you feel good when you get something like a car or something like that. And you come to the last payment and say, I don't owe nothing else. This is mine. But how many people can actually enjoy? I mean, you can live in the house as, as you're paying on it. But how many people can enjoy the actual fruits of it once the house is paid for? You can kick back and say, this is mine. Can't nobody put me out. I own this. You ain't got that many more years after 70 something. You know what I'm saying? So now basically the house is for your kids or for your family or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's the reason I would buy a house. Not even for me, for real, for, for my wife. It'll be for our children. So they'll have something to fall back on. So they'll have some place to go to. Uh, and that's how I would want it to be. It'll be some place for them to go to if they ever needed a place. Like, I would hope they wouldn't sell it. I would hope it'd be a family home where if anybody fell on hard times, you always got a place to lay your head. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I would buy a house. Um, other than that, I would just continue to rent a house. You know what I'm saying? That way I can get it a move. I can get it a move when I want to move. I can get your shit back and I can go to another house. And I can stay just as lavish or comfortable as I want to. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not about a lot of people end up, you know how many people I know lose houses daily because they couldn't afford to maintain the the burden of that rent. Year after year after year after year after year. You know what I'm saying? You got to think once you get into five years, six years, seven years, ten years, you still got 20 left. You can't see that far. But that's I just want to talk about that because it's not stupid if you own a nice car and live in an apartment. If that's your choice, that's your choice. Everybody's not ready to buy a house. Everybody's not ready to put up that kind of money to be a homeowner because I don't believe in the word homeowner unless you actually own the home. That's a bullshit word to me, homeowner. And you pay a rent. Anyway, y'all, leave a comment in the comment section. A lot of people who buy the house are gonna feel different and they're gonna comment other ways or whatever, but leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about the situation. And um Thanks for watching. Thanks for viewing. And I'll see y'all in the next video.